Wine, a drink that can take years to master and a drink for the sophisticated and mature, which is not me. Jess likes to think of herself as a sophisticated character. I'm sophisticated. But I'm not sold. <laughs> which as I'm sure you know is famous for its wine and vineyard or as they like to say wine farms so the plan is simple we're jumping on to Franchuk's tram to visit three of Franchuk's top vineyards we're going to compare the entire experience whilst having a bit of a good time and we're going to tell you which is our favorite let's go So here we are on the wine tram, which goes in a 15 minute loop to take tourists like ourselves across the different vineyards of Rancho. We have got three different vineyards today that we're going to visit and review. And to be honest, I don't know how Jessica can manage because she gets drunk off one glass of wine. Hold <laughs> on! Even the one falling asleep in the taxi last night. Absolutely. <laughs> the vineyards based on four different criteria the look and feel the ambience wine staff and then obviously the overall experience out of five so in terms of look and feel it looks fantastic very peaceful quiet tranquil it's a five yes so the ambience as well would be a five like peaceful very. Ah, just beautiful wine I feel bad for rating wine because I just don't know anything about wine, so I'm going to pass this one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it was nice, I liked it. It was nice, maybe it was the package that we took, but it wasn't anything like spectacular. Master so Connoisseur over here. I'm going to give it a three out of five. Three. And what about staff? They would get more, but. I asked for crackers and they, they said that you can't have more crackers so So we have a me. lot of hummus left considering like we bought the pairing and yeah no extra crackers for this big guy. So they get a three. <laughs> so the overall experience would be a sweet 16. Quick maths, not bad. Yeah, <laughs> I worked it out before we press record. <laughs> So we're three wines in, and Jess here is already starting to slur her words. No, we've still I'm got, not. <laughs> we've still got two left, so I hope she can manage. I'm going to try my best. I don't know. I don't remember anything about the wine. <laughs> we missed the tram. It's okay. We're here. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> we made it. Hang on about wine. <laughs> no. Now she's on camera, she wants water. No, I need water. Yeah. <laughs> if we're gonna make it through. <laughs>
drink this. So we have just finished at Rickety Bridge and really, really, really nice. I would give the overall look and feel maybe three. Yeah. yeah. And the ambience said three as well. Like, honestly, it was amazing. I don't know if it was the time of day that we went because it was like the last vineyard on route. But it was a bit rowdy, a little bit like where this food was like a pop. Like an English pub, pop. traditional English pub. Drunk, loud people. Yeah. However, the wine, I don't know my wines, I'm not too great, but the rosé was fantastic. Yes, and staff were awesome as well, like, I would have given him a five, but we settled on a four. Yeah. Just because he said... They didn't crack any jokes, you know? <laughs> I mean, but they're not comedians. Well, you know, it's all part of the experience, isn't it? So, overall, a 14. Thank you, Rick and Bridge. Next one up. What's it called? No, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Yes, I said morning because last night we didn't make it to the third vineyard, did we? Hmm. <laughs> no, we didn't. But the reason being is because we had so much fun at the first two vineyards that by the time we finished, they'd all closed. Yeah. <laughs> so we decided to come back and enjoy our last day at the third vineyard. Which is called, and I'm going to butcher this, Milanu and Liu Family Winery. I mean, I think it did okay. Yeah. And <laughs> the spot looks phenomenal. So, yeah, let's have a look. What do you think? You're not usually a red wine drinker. Best red wine I've ever had. Really? Yeah, it's like woods of cherries and black corn and I'm just gonna throw it into the pot. <laughs> this holiday but that was the best white I've ever had and I don't typically drink reds but the red wine they had here was phenomenal. Yeah this is the only vineyard where we've actually pulled wine to take away and um, <laughs> and then lastly staff. Yeah. We were with a guy named Ruben the entire wine tasting and he just the amount of information that he gave us about the history of the place the wine itself, like everything, it was just like top notch again. It was just friendly, warm, welcoming, and just a nice guy. Five stars. So yeah. that means the overall score is 20 out of 20. So guys, out of the three vineyards that we visited over the past couple of days, our favourite was Milanou and Liu. In saying that, there are more than a dozen different vineyards over the tram line and so if we've missed out any of your favourites, drop them in the comments below, we'll be sure to visit the next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe and comment. Catch you in the next one. Bye.